Hello WordPress users, thanks for checking out another video from How to Webmaster. Today I'm going to show you how to update your WordPress core and WordPress plugins automatically. Always have a backup of your sites if you plan to do automatic updates. If your web hosting provider doesn't provide automatic backups of your websites, you can also automatically back up your WordPress sites through a plugin and you guys can check out my other video for backing up your WordPress sites check the link below okay to update your core and plugins automatically you can add this plugin called easy updates manager so all you have to do is go to add new and then search for easy updates and make sure it's called easy updates manager go ahead and click on install now and then activate it the button will look like this right here install now and then it will take a few seconds and then activate it and then once you have it activated go to the dashboard panel here it'll sh it'll have a new button in your menu called updates option click on that and you you'll be presented with the easy updates manager settings here so in the update settings you can make sure to enable all updates and then you can choose to update everything or you can customize it so I would normally update the major and minor WordPress core releases and definitely do not enable the development updates this is for beta tester so don't mess with this one and then the translation updates that's up to you I disable mine and for automatic plugin updates you can leave it as default and for themes I edit my theme files to customize it so I don't wanna get it update updated if you don't have any edits in the actual theme files then you can leave this as default to get your themes updated and then make sure here are the updates for core so enable I enable my core updates plugin updates and again theme I will leave that disabled so I'm not 100% sure why it has the automatic updates up here and then another repetitive uh, WordPress core updates plugin updates um, the same as in this setting so I'm not 100% sure why we need to do it twice but I just make sure to enable the core and plugin updates and then leave my theme updates disabled but if again if you didn't mess around with the file edits of any plugins or themes you can just enable everything and once again I recommend having a backup of your WordPress before using automatic updates just in case you never know and then once you save the update settings you can actually go to the plugins options here and then you can disable allowed or block whichever plugins you wanna uh, have automatically updated so for example this one this anti-spam plugin since I don't even use it so I can actually delete it or for for now I just block it and then for something like this SEO pack contact form I allow these so that's up to you you can allow all of them and as default all the plugins are automatically updated and then themes again you can pick and choose and for me I've already disabled my theme update so these wouldn't even be ran I'm gonna skip the logs since it just gives you the history of the updates and in advanced options here I'm going to force this automatic updates since I have an outdated version of WordPress and then some outdated plugins here so force automatic updates so this will force to upgrade my WordPress 
to the newest version and all the plugins that I've selected and by default this plugin will check for updates every 12 hours okay let's click on the force updates and now it's running the updates okay it seems like it already updated my WordPress core I'm now at 5.01 and my plugins are still not updated yet but I think that's gonna happen coming up soon so anyhow that's how you enable automatic plugin updates and core updates by using the easy updates manager alrighty thanks a lot for watching be sure to subscribe to how to webmaster for more internet marketing tips and tricks until next time happy blogging